Just a quick update on uh, the aerial on progress. I've got a bit um, preoccupied with the counterbalance um, assembly and getting it accurately located within the aerolon so that when the aerolon is put onto the wing it goes through the hole in the back of the wing but not only has it got to go through the hole in the back of the wing if you look quite carefully or you might not be able to see it the wing rib is right on the left hand edge of this hole now the hole's a little bit wider than the uh, assembly but it has a bolt head sticking out on the left hand side to hold the counterbalance on and i don't think you can see it in there the the gap in there is actually reducing because the wing being undercut on that side um, makes the hole get smaller and smaller as it goes in so actually getting the counterbalance absolutely smack through the middle of that hole is actually quite important because if it's slightly to the left the bolt heads are going to interfere with the aft rib that's on the left hand side of the of the hole and that will cause resistance where whatever and i see people have had trouble with this in the past but if you get it too far to the right you lose um, the ability to uh, swing up uh, that be swing yes yeah, swing up with the air along and the front end of the counterbalance will go down and hit the wing tip so it's quite important to get it absolutely spot on and something i noticed was that here's one i prepared earlier children when i drilled the uh, hinge half to the recommended hole spacing which is actually um, on the drawing it tells you where to put these four holes here which go through the skin uh, of the uh, aerolon and into the counterbalance assembly. Two of them are not in the right place. The two center ones are slightly off center and also go pretty much straight into the edge of a web. Um, certainly when they're opened out to uh, rivet size they will be right down the edge of a web and that's not good really so I've made another one and I'm going to drill the holes in a different position so that they are through the middle of each of the um, uh, flat pieces on the uh, counterbalance assembly um, so they rivet on properly and uh, so I've spent I don't know probably an hour and a half to two hours measuring re-measuring checking everything the um, alignment of the hinge um, the alignment of the aerolon on the back of the wing um, all the dimensions where that hole is in the back of the uh, wing where i need to cut through the back end of the aerolon so that when the two are put together it goes straight through that middle of that hole um and i'm pretty happy with it now um it goes through I've got probably five millimeters of clearance on this bolt, a temporary bolt that I've put in there just to uh, simulate it um, between that and the wing rib, um, which is going to have to be enough because there really isn't any more clearance to be had. Um, so that's where I am uh, at the moment. I've cut that hole 
Um, I've cut it a bit uh, more accurately than is called for on the uh, plans, um, but I don't see any reason to leave a gap down the sides. Might just as well put it in the right place. I've got to get it squared up now um, and uh, put some markings down the skin um, and uh, drill some holes basically for the tip piece the counterbalance, the centre rib and the end rib which I've still got to uh, got to cut out here to allow that to come this way by about uh, seven millimetres or so I think it is. Um, so um, I shall busy away and do all those things um, and hopefully when I speak to you next we'll be um, well the, the skin will be um, complete and uh, we'll have some holes in it for the rivets more later another little update on the uh, aileron aileron rather that's the drive rib in and mostly clear code and we've got the center rib which is in and mostly clear code and the complete bastard counterweight assembly which is in finally and I'm pretty sure it's in the right place <laughs> but I wouldn't swear to it uh, but it's in and mostly clear code um, it has put up a bit of a fight but uh, I think it's there and I've yet to fit the tip uh, rib and and the hinge and once I've got the uh, the ribs where I want them um, I've only drilled a couple of uh, holes in the back well forward edge of the um, counterweight assembly um, and the skin just to hold it there temporarily i haven't drilled any of the others yet and none of the hinge holes because what i want to do is make sure i've got everything all the ribs in and then everything is square make sure that the aerolon is completely and utterly flat and level because once I drill one of the holes for the um, leading edge of the aerolon for either the ribs or the uh, hinge it will lock the whole thing in place and at that point if it's twisted it's twisted forever if it's flat it's flat forever so that's what we're going to do i'm going to have a cup of tea now might even have something to eat and uh and then we'll carry on but yeah, looking good pretty happy with everything looking good well success after spending most of the day today i think i've probably spent five hours today getting this um drilled and uh, all lined up it's finally done every hole is drilled and all silver clear code so tomorrow's job is to uh, drill everything out to uh, rivet size one eighth and uh, then deburr take it all apart deburr everything and uh, then rivet it together um, but it took a lot longer than I was anticipating and uh, a lot of the time was spent trying to get the counterbalance assembly in exactly the right place so that it slips in through that hole in the back of the wing absolutely dead straight and clearing the um, aft rib 
in the wing which is immediately on the left of that hole um, which I think I've achieved it's as um, perfect as uh, as I can get it I also had some trouble with the end rib it was the wrong shape and uh, I had to beat it severely with a hammer to uh, re-bend um, part of it um, but it's gone in really nicely now um, it's just a hint of how I had to beat it severely on the end there it's not as bad as it looks on the camera it's the way that the uh, shadow is uh, on it but uh, it actually fits quite nicely now Anyway, so a whole day to uh, assemble that um, and uh, probably a few hours tomorrow to strip it, well drill it, strip it apart and uh, deburr it and rivet it and then we'll have one hour on and hopefully I've got the counterbalance and most importantly the hinge correctly aligned so that when it goes onto the wing everything lines up here's hoping after another two and a half hours basically uh, stripped it all well it's been up drilled stripped down deburred and uh, riveted and uh, it's all good it's flat as a uh, pancake which is good um, all the rivets have gone in quite nicely um, nothing really to uh, to say much about it it's um, all looking good uh, and I have test tried it it does fit as well so I'll flip it over the other way and we'll offer it up to the wing so there we go that's now in place with the uh, with a hinge pin through the middle and uh, it's not looking too bad at all Nice line on the wing and it also goes up and down. Woohoo! So there we go, that's the air alarm complete. Um, next thing to do is the flap. So we've got to fill in this big gap here with the flap. So it's a bigger version of the air along. But probably a bit easier, I would say. That uh, counterbalance um, assembly caused a lot of uh, issues. And uh, also the, uh, the angled wing tip caused some issues, as, or, or air along tip, the tip rib. Um, cause some issues as well so hopefully not going to be quite so bad on the flap so there we go progress